Hi, this is Ron Escobar with Buying Homes with Ron Escobar. I want to thank you for viewing our video. This is a YouTube channel where we discuss items that are of importance to home buyers or home sellers and where they can find information. Sometimes it's basic, sometimes it's advanced, but we try to convey it to you in a way that is easy to understand so that you can make important decisions. One of the questions that I get very often is, what is title insurance and a lot of things that go with that so i thought it'd be a wonderful opportunity to have a guest and i invited felix duarte from tycor title he's a vice president of tycor title a good friend of mine and i invited him over to share with us his knowledge about title insurance how are you felix ron thank you so much for the opportunity to be here i'm excited to be here and to have a chance to talk about title insurance something that a lot of times is a bit misunderstood in our industry so felix right to the topic homeowners want to know what is title insurance title insurance is a type of insurance that protects a new owner's interest uh, ownership interest in property that they've recently acquired so it's an insurance policy like any other insurance policy only insuring the title of the property right correct you know title insurance is unique in terms of uh, insurance because it is the only type of insurance that essentially insures against future losses caused by events that happened in the past. Oh, uh, well, unlike, unlike other types of insurance that essentially insure you for things that might happen in the future. You know, our insurance essentially protects you from acts that have happened uh, previously. Good, good. So, in an insurance policy, there's always a beneficiary, there's somebody who pays for it. Title insurance, who are the beneficiaries of the title insurance policy? You know, if we're going to talk about beneficiaries in, in the, with a, a title insurance policy, typically in a, in a real estate transaction, you're going to have two. You're going to have the uh, the lender side, which is the lender's policy, and you're going to have the owner's policy, which protects the new owner's, again, interest in that property. So, and uh, this is something that's often confused even by real estate agents, and I find myself explaining this in the transactions. There's usually two title policies in a transaction. Correct? Yes, we're insuring two parties. In a typical real estate transaction, we're insuring two parties. We're insuring the lender, which is obviously providing a loan to a buyer to acquire that property. So we're insuring their interest in that property. And we're also insuring the new owner's interest, which is the owner's policy, uh, which typically is paid for by the seller of that, of that property. Interesting. Usually people think that the insurance is divided half and half. That is not the case. Let's ask, who pays for each policy? Usually, you know, and I'm glad you said usually, Ron, because as you know, in real estate, just about everything is negotiable and title is, is no different than that. But typically, uh, the owner's policy is paid for by the sellers and the buyer will pay for the lender's policy. The buyer protects the bank's interest by getting a title insurance policy and the seller protects the buyer's interest by providing them with a different title with, insurance with an, policies. With an owner's policy, that is correct. Great, great. So, what is covered? What is covered? You said things that happened in the past. Absolutely. Can you give us a couple of examples? You, you know, I think, uh, you know, th there's a whole list of examples that we can talk about, but just some of the more common ones that I think that uh, we are usually happy not to see, but exist out there nonetheless. Uh, we're talking about, you know, potential heirs that were uh, an heir to a property that was absent or has disappeared that then reappears at a certain point mm. and can claim an interest in in property uh, we're also talking about other you know maybe the human aspect the human error aspect of, uh, of insurance where a deed of trust that has been recorded against the property is, is uh, you know is, is not seen during the title search and therefore there's an open lien that, that remains uh, when that property is conveyed to the new owner that you know pop, the me, insurance will protect against something like that let me step in a little bit because i want to make sure we keep this a plain language right and when we're talking about an heir benefit or beneficiary or we're talking about a deed of trust those are things that we understand but our viewers may not be very familiar with right so for example you said somebody back in 1930 owned this property they passed away the property was sold through probate, but they didn't find his grandchild. And then 20 years later, the grandchild comes over and says, hey, I was supposed to inherit this property. I have a claim to it. Is that what you mean by it? Yes, that's, the, you know, that's, uh, I, I like the example. I think, you know, 
time, uh, you know, absolutely, it's something that happened in the past, and you can definitely go back and somewhere along the lines, maybe there was an interest that was conveyed that wasn't uh, that wasn't satisfied, and so that would be an, an air situation. Yes. In a deed of trust, I have a perfect example. I worked on a property not too long ago. There was a lien on the title where somebody had given a loan of like ten thousand dollars back in 1918 or something like that and that wasn't clear yet and the title uh, through their title insurance company through their research found that out and insured against any potential losses against that loan that was there that was definitely paid up because it was you know 30 40 years ago but nonetheless the interest of the bank given the loan and the buyer buying the property is protected with this new title insurance policy, correct? That's what you meant by deed of trust? Correct, you know, and I think it, to, to kind of summarize a little bit, Ron, uh, you know, with regards to title insurance, our job really is to make sure that when uh, we're, we're in the middle of a transaction with our clients, we wanna make sure that the interests of all the parties are, are protected with regards to that property and identifying any type of issue that will be uh, that might become an issue for the new owner. We want to make sure that before title is conveyed to the new owner that we satisfy any uh, any questions that we have about any potential debts or any other potential interest that might be uh, in play for that property. Okay, so there you have it folks. Title insurance. What is title insurance? Who are the beneficiaries? Who pays for it? What does it cover? This is some of the basic information you need to be aware of before you step into home ownership or before you step into any transaction, whether it's commercial or residential. We have Felix Duarte from Tycor Title, Vice President, joining us, explaining those details to us. We are gonna have him in the future talking about more in-depth title issues uh, that we can think of. And once again, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a great way of getting uh, basic and advanced information and in plain language so that you can understand it, so you can make informed decisions and really thrive in your real estate uh, investment, whether you're buying a home, an apartment building, or whatever you're doing. This is Ron Escobar with Buying Homes with Ron Escobar. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you, Felix. Ron, thank you so much for, uh, for having me here and glad to, uh, to be able to hopefully spell out a little bit about uh, title insurance and, and what it involves. We'll see you on the next one.